of National Financial Literacy Month, which was created by Congress in 2003. Delaware actually has been celebrating financial literacy for years, for decades. And we at the Delaware Financial Literacy Institute celebrate financial education every day of the year because we literally have people. We have people who help us get the word out. We have good friends who make our work possible. I want to thank, is Larry here? I want to thank Larry Manuel for um, hosting this event for us today. The Delaware Libraries have been our partners since before the Institute was formed, when the Money School started in 1999. The Money School is said to be a school without walls, a community of learners and a school without walls. And our school are libraries across the state of Delaware. They've graciously opened their doors to our instructors for years. So almost every day of the year, somewhere, somewhere in the state of Delaware, there's a library hosting a Money School class. We want to thank our De Councilman Darius Brown, from the city of Wilmington. He has, a long, he has long supported financial education, and he's going to speak in a few minutes. And I have a proclamation from the mayor. Whereas since 2002, the Delaware Financial Literacy Institute has worked to assist and educate individuals, especially those of low to moderate income, to become better equipped with the tools necessary to organize their financial lives and become self-sufficient and enjoy financial stability. And whereas only one in three Americans feel prepared for their long-term financial futures, and whereas many Americans are living beyond their financial means, and whereas nearly one in three Americans do not have emergency savings to cover any potential or unplanned expenses, whereas the National Financial Literacy Month is an annual opportunity for organizations to promote healthy financial behaviors and for individuals to assess their own saving status, be it hereby known to all that Dennis P. Williams, Mayor of the City of Wilmington, declares April 2015 as Financial Literacy Month. And he encourages all citizens of the City of Wilmington to educate themselves on the importance of setting financial goals, planning for success, saving early, saving often. <laughs> Thanks to the dozens of volunteer money school instructors, including Rod Hausman, who's going to be doing a class here after this event, um, who, who volunteer their time to teach financial education across the state. We thank the Center for Economic Education and Entrepreneurship, represented today by Dr. Bonnie Mazeris, for its long history of providing financial education to teachers across the state and affecting thousands of students every year. The Center and the Delaware Libraries are two of DFLI's long-standing partners. And we have to give thanks to generous corporate sponsors such as Citizens Bank, represented today by Ed Winslow. And I want to ha on, um, they'll be talking to you in a few minutes. A few words from the president of our board. Thank you, Bonnie. Um, greetings from the board of directors of the Delaware Financial Literacy Institute, otherwise known as the Money School. Today we mark the start of Financial Literacy Month, and we highlight the importance of financial literacy for everyone. Here in Delaware, though, we had a head start. Since 1999, the Money School has celebrated financial literacy every day somewhere across the state, not just highlighting the importance, but also presenting free financial classes for all ages. City of Wilmington, Delaware Libraries, and the University of Delaware Center for Economic Education and Entrepreneurship are some of our critical partners that have enabled DFLI, the Money School, to present more than 5,000 financial classes, programs, and events, all free of cost to the public over the last 15 years. So thank you for joining us today in celebrating Delaware Financial Literacy Month. And um, next, um, Larry, would you like to say a few words from the library? Thank you, Ronnie. I'm uh, Larry Manuel. I'm the uh, director of the library here. And I want to thank you all for coming to the newly renovated library. Uh, when we started planning for the library, uh, we knew that we needed to change how we reacted with the community, what kind of spaces we needed to have in the new library for the 21st century. And we knew that partnerships were going to be extremely important in that meeting that goal. Uh, the Money School, Delaware, Institute, Financial Institute, has been an extremely important partner in the past. We look forward to continuing that. Uh, 
Um, we have opened up a lot of other partners. Uh, as we've opened the library, we've been open for about a year now. Uh, we have state-of-the-art facilities. Uh, so put in a shameless plug here for uh, uh, any organizations that you know that might want to use the library. Uh, Carl Shaw over here is our coordinator for the inspiration space. Uh, very high tech. Uh, we are going to have a, a streaming of the presentation afterwards. As I understand, he's going to go to Dover, Dover Georgetown, Lewis. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's pretty high tech. <laughs> so uh, again, thank you very much. I uh, hope you have a pleasant day. Thanks, thank you. Mary. Before I, I introduce Darius, I want to introduce my staff. I don't see Quidia. Oh, Quidia. <laughs> Quidia Mohammed and Kiana Mosey have worked really hard to get this day set up. And they're, they're amazing. They, um, they have the whole month planned. And they do this every month. They say, this is it. This will be our busy month. And then every month is another busy month. But this is one of our busiest, and we, um, we thank you for sharing with us. I want to um, introduce Councilman Darius Brown, who's been a good friend to the Delaware Financial Literacy Institute and has hosted the Money School before. Darius. I'd like to thank Ronnie and the Money School for uh, continuing your work here in the city of Wilmington. So on behalf of the entire council of the city of Wilmington, all the residents of the city of Wilmington, I want to thank you for the important work you're doing around financial literacy and indeed uh, championing the cause of why mo money does indeed matter. Uh, in my former life, um, I became more familiar with how important money w was. Today, I carry around a lot of bank cards and debit cards. I don't uh, exchange currency like I used to with cash, but if I were to ask uh, some of you for a dollar, you had an old dollar bill uh, in your pocket, on the left side of that dollar bill, there would be a circle with a uh, letter in it. And it may be an A or B or C or a D, uh, representing the 12 Federal Reserve Banks in our country. Uh, and if it was an A, uh, I believe that would be Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, the power of currency is that even though you may have a dollar that was produced at the U.S. Mint in Boston, Massachusetts, you didn't have to go to Boston to get that dollar. Money matters because we want individuals in the city of Wilmington to understand how powerful um, the dollars in which they have, the currency in which they have, the salaries and the disposable income that they have is to how they can have a very prosperous and successful uh, future. Some of the challenges we have in the city of Wilmington around educating uh, many of our young people are similar to that uh, in our, of our federal government. Uh, people in the age bracket of 18 to 24 and nearly 30% of their monthly income just on paying debt, just on paying debt. Uh, and so the importance of the money school and why money matters is helping uh, residents uh, pay back not only their debt and their debt obligations, but also understanding that many of our young people as they graduate from high school and matriculate uh, in colleges around the country and here regionally in our state, uh, they will be tempted by a by being offered at least eight credit cards. Could you imagine making that choice about your life trajectory at the age of 18 and 19, and where that would then put you in addition to student loans and why a financial education is so important. And then lastly, more than 40% of American households have liquidity, liquidity of less than $1,000 in their savings account. That's non-retirement. Money matters. Money matters. And the work that Financial Literacy Institute does here, and offering these courses here at the Wilmington Library is essential to residents that live on the east side of Wilmington, that live in Center City, Wilmington, the northeast area of Wilmington, that they can come to this centrally located location to be educated on the importance of money. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for championing the cause. I look forward to continuing work with you and to educate our Wilmington community on financial literacy. We will be holding our Chasing the Dream summer camp in the city of Wilmington this summer at Stubbs School. <laughs> and we, we really thank them for their gracious um, space that they're giving. It's great, gracious and really perfect for um, 
9 to 16 year olds to learn about entrepreneurship. Also, my, I want to recognize my board members that are here, Cher, that you met, Bonnie Mazeris, Kamisha Martin, and um, Kamisha will be making an announcement with us later in the month. So we have a surprise coming. This is pretty a pack this month with surprises. <laughs> Um, next, I'd like to have a few words from Rod Hausman. We used to have a contest and ask people to nominate their favorite teachers. And so it went, F Rod Hausman was nominated constantly, so we had to stop the contest. So it got a little boring. But he is one of our longtime money school instructors and one of the favorites of the money school. Rod. I paid him off. So that's one way. That's one. Thanks, Ronnie. Uh, her staff does so much, so well. It, it's fun. But uh, I've been volunteering for, I think, over 12 years. I stopped counting after 10. Um, what does a money school? It inspires and empowers. It inspires me to want to teach more. Uh, I teach actually in all three counties, which is fun. Uh, Quadia won't let me stop there. But, um, and then the power is it's so nice and exciting to help people reach their financial goals. Um, I, I wrote down here, one of the enjoyments of teaching the money school class are the participants. You know, they, they come to the class with a desire to learn something new, try and get a tip or a concept that they can apply to themselves and to their financial situations. They get excited about all the information they receive, and then they start becoming groupies. Then they start coming to class after class after class. Sometimes I've got to kick them out because I said, now apply what you learn here and doing that. Uh, I believe totally that these classes should be required in all schools. You know, all schools you know, from elementary to high school, they should come to the money school class. And the money school is one of the only, quote unquote, financial education programs I'm aware of that has actual licensed individuals teaching. You know, it, it's, it's about helping um, people with the key to financial success isn't being a rah-rah, it's holding people accountable with sound uh, financial advice and, and, and making them go through the process. Uh, being, being a money school instructor, gives me the desire and, and the cause to educate uh, people about money. It is so fun. And the classes that have led me to do um, special programs in churches and businesses and lunch and learns, I get offers a lot from Quadia to do special programs, which is nice. And I'll do uh, requests. And, uh, and the last thing is when you can help a family reach their financial goals and dreams, not much more is satisfying. Thanks. <laughs> The money school really is a community of learners, and there are groupies. And I, um, when I first was hired, Jack Markell said, I want you to go to this class. I've heard that he's this man is selling, not Rod. And I went to the class, and he didn't take attendance, and I was furious. I said, he doesn't even know who's here. He's not selling. But these people went to, went to all the classes this man offered as groupies, and they liked him so much they invested with him, and then they weren't happy with their investment. So I said, he's not selling. He's not even taking attendance. And we do need our attendance. The next part of our program is really special. We, um, we apply for some funding. We are a nonprofit, 501c3. And we are financed mostly by corporate donations and individual donations. And we received a note. I think it was written on a Saturday morning, Mara, saying that we were granted money for a teacher institute. And so today, we're going to um, hear a little bit about uh, our partnership with Citizens Bank. Ed Winslow is here and Bonnie Mazeros, who's going to partner with us on this grant. So, Ed and Bonnie. Well, let's have Ed talk, and then we'll have you, Bonnie. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Citizens Bank is pleased to be here to kick off uh, National Financial Literacy Month. Uh, Citizens Bank has always been uh, committed to financial education, uh, and National Financial Literacy Month gives us the opportunity to do that and to raise awareness. Uh, Citizen is actually contributing 170000 to 10 different nonprofits in Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania as part of our efforts. Uh, we are here today to support financial education uh, as a joint project of the Delaware Financial Literacy Institute and one of our longtime partners, the University of Delaware Center for Economic Education and Entrepreneurship. A uh, project called Citizens Bank Institute for uh, Teachers, grades K-12, through uh, is designed to teach not just content information but also methods materials and networking opportunities. Uh, and we strive for this training to feature Citizens Bank employees to be guest instructor, instructors for the program. Uh, Citizens employees will be guest instructors for these community programs and will teach more than 2,400 uh, students this month alone. Citizens, citizens helping citizens is our way of putting into action uh, our belief that a good bank gives back to the community. Thank you.
Good morning. Well, um, you're all here because you're excited and you want to support the month of April as Financial Literacy Month. But you know, financial literacy isn't just one month. It's every month of the year. And uh, one of the things that I appreciate in working with Ronnie is we have these opportunities to take the strengths of both of our organizations, and in this case, work with citizens to offer a program for teachers. And I think it was you, Ron, who said that it should be required in the schools. And I can't agree more. But we've been working on that for 10 years. And, and we are making progress, but it's still not a requirement. And Ronnie and I both believe that it's so important that we start young. We start with kindergarten, first grade, and they move all the way through. And when they get to college these days, we recognize how many of them are not prepared to handle their personal finances. So um, this program is going to help us reach teachers. Uh, personal finance is a curriculum that does not have a home in the school. Teachers tell us they don't know enough to teach it. Uh, they don't have the materials. So through this grant, we'll be able to give them the content from the Employees of Citizens. And they'll get the materials, the mentoring, and the methods they need to implement it in the classroom. So we're really grateful for that opportunity. I had actually no financial education in schools until I was a teacher, and in, I don't want to tell you how long ago it was, but I went to the Center for Economic Education and Entrepreneurship for Economic Concepts for the elementary school, and I didn't really care. I mean, economics, and um, we had a professor, Dr. O'Neill, who made us get up. We couldn't just sit and take notes. He said, get up. You have, this has to be active. Learning is active. So we were annoyed with him. But that really started my, my interest in financial education. And um, Bonnie and I have worked together since that day. We met in that class, and we've collaborated. We leverage our resources, which really builds our capacity. So later this month, later next month, we'll be, um, we have a four-day competition, the Meaningful Economics and Entrepreneurship Competition, three days here, one day in Georgetown. If you'd like to be um, a judge, we would love you to volunteer. Later this month, Bonnie will be hosting Teach Your Child to Save Day. And bankers from across the state go into classrooms and actually do a lesson with the students, which it's, as a, te as a former teacher, it's so important to bring the community into the classroom and to bring the children into the community. We know that money isn't everything, but understanding it is. And through our collaborations and our partnerships, we're able to teach about money and the concepts that people need to know. We want to thank you for your support of financial education, helping Delawareans develop the tools to become financially self-sufficient and enjoy financial well-being. Thank you for coming today.